Hello, good morning children. Welcome back to our channel. In the previous session, we were discussing the question answers of the lesson, A Gift of Chapels. Right? Today, let us continue the remaining part. Here it is, the fifth one. Already the first four have been completed. What was the noise that startled, Mridu and frightened Mahindran? The children were discussing about cat. At that moment, the sound of screeching startled Mridu and frightened Mahendran. It was the sound of violin that Lalli was learning to play. As she was not able to play it properly, it sounded awful. Awful means uncomfortable. Page number 28. Comprehension check. First question. The music master is making lovely music. Read aloud this express read aloud the sentence in the text that expresses this idea. The music master's notes seemed to float up and settle perfectly into the invisible tracks. Invisible tracks of the melody. It was like the wheels of a train fitting smoothly into the rails and whizzing along and whizzing along. This sentence in the text that expresses the idea that the music master is making lovely music which is perfectly and can be enjoyed by all. Second question. Had the beggar come to Rukubani's house for the first time? Give reasons for your answer. No, the beggar had not come to Rukumani's house for the first time because Pati said to Tapi that he had been coming to their house every day for the past one week. She also said that it's time to find him another house to beg from. This shows that she knew him. Third one, a sharp V-shaped line had formed between her eyebrows what does it suggest to you about Rukumani's mood? V-shaped eyebrow is formed only when people are in anger. When Rukumani came to know about the missing of the chapels, her eyebrows turned V-shaped. This suggests that Rukumani was very angry in mood. When she came to know about the missing chapels of the music master or music teacher. Page number 29. Working with the text. Complete the following sentences. First one. Ravi compares Lalli's playing the violin to Dash. Second question. Trying to hide beneath the tray of chilies Mahendran Dash. The teacher played a few notes on his violin and Lally dash. The beggar said that the kind ladies of the household dash. After the lesson was over, the music teacher asked Lally if dash. The answers are here. Ravi compares Lally's playing the violin to derailing of the train going completely off track. Second one, trying to hide beneath the tray of chilies, Mahendran tipped a few chilies over himself. Third one, the teacher played a few notes on his violin and Lali and Lali stumbled behind him on her violin which looked quite helpless and unhappy in her hands. The beggar said that the kind ladies of the household kept his body and soul together on their generosity for a whole week. He couldn't believe that they would turn him away. Fifth one. After the lesson was over, the music teacher asked Lali if she had seen his chapels. These are the answers. 
second one describe the music teacher as seen from the window as seen from the window music teacher had the bony figure he had a mostly bald head with a fringe of oiled black hair falling around his ears and an old fashioned tuft a gold chain gleaming around his leathery neck and a diamond ring glittered on his hand as it glided up and down the stem the stem of the violin a large foot stuck out from the from beneath his gold bordered vesti edge and he was beating time on the floor with a scrawny big toe this is the second one third one what makes mridu conclude that the beggar has no money to buy chapels what does she suggest to show her concern mridu concludes that the beggar had no money to buy chapels because his feet were his feet were blistered as he moved on bare feet in the hot summer also the the kids felt that the beggar should have a pair of slippers she suggests mridu and ravi about the pair of old slippers so that they could give it to the beggar fourth one have you have you children she began and then seeing they were curiously quiet went on more slowly seen anyone lurking around the veranda what do you think rukumani really wanted to ask why did she change her question what did she think had happened answers are there for the first three questions rukumani actually wanted to ask the children if they had seen the music master's slippers it is answer for the first one what do you think rukumani really wanted to ask answer is rukumani actually wanted to ask the children if they had seen the music master's slippers second question why did she change her question she changed her question because children were curiously quiet and she suspected that children must have done something mischievous with chapels third one what did she think had happened when she saw the expression of absolute quietness she thought that the children must have given the music masters chapels to the to that old beggar fifth question on getting gopum amma's chapels the music teacher tired not tried not to look too happy why the music teacher tried not to look happy because he did not want to reveal his happiness of getting new chapels of gopu mama's gopu mama to others he wanted to show that his own chapels were more expensive and branded one actually he was very happy after getting gopu mama's chapels sixth one on getting a gift of chapels the beggar vanished in a minute why was he in such a hurry to leave on getting a gift of chapels the beggar vanished in a minute because he needed them badly and he did not want to lose the gift of those chapels his feet were blistered and he couldn't have got anything better from that house the seventh one page number 30 walking towards the kitchen with mridu and meena rukumani began to laugh what made her laugh gopu mama was always in such a hurry 
to throw off his shoes and socks and get into his chappals as soon as he comes home rukumani began to laugh while thinking about the reaction of her husband after hearing this incident and when he came to know about that they had given his new chappals to the music teacher these are the question answers of the lesson agip top chappals write these all neatly in the notebook and let us continue the same exercise part in the next session thank you have a nice day